this is my Jacob's Ladder. I uh, have it on a just a board right here that was left over from a project. And I already have a video up of my Jacob's Ladder, but I thought it could use a, another version because that other video is it's not very good quality and uh, you can't really see what's going on. Another thing I added since that video is I propped up this on another board as well as where these two pieces of wire go up in the air like that. And the reason for that was this was wobbling a lot because because uh, these screws can only go so deep when you're just having this board and they were stripping the holes as I kept reattaching it so now it can go much deeper and the reason I did it here because these aren't that heavy I did it here because when the screws were going all the way through they were touch they were stabbing whatever was below it so if you had a metal sheet down or something then this high voltage was on that metal sheet and it would short out so it wasn't very safe and it wasn't working very well so I have it uh, just in this switch here the 120 comes in through the wall and of course one goes to here and one goes to the switch and we turn it on the 120 goes right here to the front we turn it on the first thing you notice is LED turns on uh, this isn't a separate transformer or anything wired up the LED is actually being powered off of this microwave oven transformer. Uh, there's just, I think, three volts or so that come off of that, which is great for an indicator LED. Uh, your high voltage is what comes off of this tap right here, and I have that running across to here, and then the ground is that white wire, which is also grounded, uh, back to the wall. So uh, th these wires, they're, they've kind of they've kind of seen better days. Uh, it seems as when you first these are just uh, out of Romex wire, just the the bare ground wire, which you can see right down there. They're very corroded. After uh, when you first do it, it, it works very well, but they start wearing down, and uh, these these wires need to be replaced. Well, they don't need to be replaced. I mean, this isn't a necessity to have ridiculously big sparks. Uh, it's actually not a necessity to build this at all, of course. Uh, so I have my I have my uh, chicken stick as they call it right here. It's just a plastic tube and some more wire here just taped on. So let's give it a go. It's working better than it was earlier. I had this window open in the air, uh, if it's a breeze, it will just kill it off right away. It, it's uh, it likes steady air. Something I like doing is just if you just uh, put this on here, you can just grab an arc off of there and kind of pull it. I'll just keep doing this until I trip the breaker. Or not trip the breaker, I'll trip, uh... I'll probably pop this thing over here. And that's it. It will pop, it will show, uh... Just right here. This is a lot better if you, if you mess around with, with this kind of stuff. Because if you just have it plug right into the wall, then you have to run down to your circuit breaker. Well, some people have it in the garage. Mine is down in the basement. Anyway, that's it for my Jacob's Ladder. I was thinking about maybe making another video of how to build one just from from nothing. Just I was gonna, I was, I was thinking of just starting out with just a microwave, or you know, I was gonna say a furnace ignition or neon uh, transformer, but it's a lot easier to get a hold of one of these. Because, I mean, unless you were work, know a construction company or someone that works on oil furnaces, uh, usually aren't going to get a hold of one of those. Most people have a microwave and uh, or they can go to the dump or something and, get, and find a broken one. And I was thinking just have a microwave and, uh, you know, some parts and how to throw one together. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching this video.